years of age, not particularly old, but at 24 years of age, it's Diaz, who is on the rise, and Johnson, who, if he's going to get back to where he wants to be, will have to start right now. Those are the numbers. That's the way this fight looks. We go to Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Jimmy? And his opponent across the ring on my right, the defending champion fighting yeah. out of the blue corner, wearing a multi flag trunks, red, white, green, and blue. He also is fighting out of San Antonio, Texas. He weighed in at 146 and one half pounds with a fine record of 25 wins, one defeat. He has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the defending MABF welterweight champion, introducing Oscar Diaz. Well, no question as to who the crowd favorite is here. Ruben Carrion now to give instructions, 12 round scheduled bout. We went over the pre fight instructions in the dressing room. Any questions? I want you to obey my commands at all times. Most important of all, protect yourselves at all times, especially on the brakes and at the bell. Touch gloves, turn to your corner. Seconds out. Once more, we take a look at uh, the rules. The three knockdown rule not in effect. There won't be a standing eight count. The fighter can't be saved by the bell in any round. Either the doctor or the referee can stop the fight. And the headbutt rule, we go to the cards after the fourth round. So Diaz, the title holder right now, even though he's fighting a more experienced fighter in Golden Johnson. Here we go, round one. Golden Johnson now trained by Jesse James Leha. Leha fought uh, two of the biggest fights of his career right in this building. Sold it out one time, didn't he? Well, he was on the, he was on the same card, of course, with Pernell Whitaker against Julio Cesar Chavez, and he was fighting James Leha, was fighting Azuma Nelson for the first time. There was 67,000 in the building that night. I was here, it was uh, rocking. It was one of the most amazing atmospheres I've ever been at in uh, boxing. Later, he came back here, and we did too. We did a uh, pay-per-view show a few years ago with a final, fourth and final fight between Azuma Nelson and Jesse James Johnson, straight up fighter. I mean, technically does things very sound. Wait, my break. Let's go. Real good stance and style. Well, and you know, you saw the fight that he had with Shane Mosley, and, and he was overmatched in that fight to be sure. But to his credit, he he went there and tried to fight it. He wasn't afraid. But he was nervous. He was nervous. He did admit that to us. <laughs> Getting off to a very good start here. Working the jab. Well, these two guys have been friendly, not on necessarily a social basis, but they have seen each other in the gym and uh, a little bit like that. Uh, in fact, uh, when Golden Johnson told his wife that he Lerma, was going to be go, facing Oscar Diaz, she said, you mean that little kid? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This was a few years ago. Well, he said he, he met him when he was 13 or 14 years old. Nice work with the jab from Golden Johnson is fighting a very effective round. Four years ago, we came here to San Antonio, and Oscar Diaz was on one of our Fox Sports Net cards that we did. And I remember Lou Duva was just absolutely gushing about Oscar Diaz, and he performed that. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Against Gonzalo Bonilla, but he has not perhaps progressed as fast as Hulk. No, he's been looking Get off for the a head. fight like no this. No punch, let's go. And, uh, Get off the head. This is the kind of fight he needs to catapult himself into the public eye in terms of being any kind of a contender for a real title. His only loss, however, was in March of 2004 against the Southpaw Ebo Elder. Get off his head, Oscar. Elder jumped him early and just stayed on it. Very good right hand from Johnson. Boy, Gordon looks very sharp tonight. He really looks good, and he has taken Wait. control of this fight in no the first round. No question, let's go. Clean break. Clean break. And again, the San Antonio fans grow quiet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, this is the adopted home of Golden Johnson. Really good round for him. Hey, 
Nice, real nice. Hey, what I want you to do is go to the go to the body just a little bit. Here you go, here, get the one. Hey, go to the body, stay nice and calm, okay? But when you get inside, Golden, don't stay there. Pick him up with something and get out, okay? okay. That was beautiful. Keep sticking that jab down the middle. He's coming right in down the middle. Keep sticking that jab down the middle. When he throws his right hand, and you catch him with every hook, okay? Uh -huh. So go down to the bottom and come up to the top, okay? okay. We want a little bit of body shot. Just try to get out of the way of the jabs, right? Then you start picking him up with everything, okay? If it open up, take it, though. Right, go that body. You Beautiful work. Body what's up, what's up? Beautiful work. Okay, look, start stepping around a little bit more, too, okay? Hey, Chesco. Suck his out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Suck his out. Round number two and a great round for Golden Johnson. And he starts up right where he left off. And Jesse James Leha was very happy with that round when Johnson got back to the corner, as he should be. And there's a good shot left hand by Diaz. That backed Johnson right up. And Diaz went to the body well with a couple of left hooks. And, and Johnson is forced to give ground. Now the crowd's in there. And show up. And another good shot left hand from Diaz. And another started with the right to the body, came up with the left to the head. Johnson trying to hold on here. The tide turns quickly in the floor number two. Johnson may not get, want to get into a slugging match here with uh, Oscar Diaz. Another good left hand from Diaz. Diaz is grabbing. Right, right, and he's doing right. it away from the referee, Ruben Cardon, is not seeing it. Well, a pretty good sequence that time. Accidental headbutt has caused a serious cut over the right eye of Oscar Diaz, and that could change this fight right now. That's a shame. It's a, it's a pretty big cut. I mean, it's bleeding very, quite profusely right now. And now Johnson goes to work on it with that left hand of his. Break! My break, let's go. Good right hand from Diaz. And Diaz certainly has to feel a sense of urgency because that cut was pretty serious. There's a left hand from Johnson right on that cut. I tell you, the left hook of Johnson is really working well. And that eye is looking pretty nasty right now. And Johnson let's being go, crafty, you saw him kind of get his no elbow or his shoulder into that eye as well. There's a lot of blood on the face of Diaz. They will have a ton of work to do in his corner. And now Johnson getting bold, Barry. He's moving forward. Come on, He's perhaps Johnson. dreaming of finishing Come off right, Oscar go. Diaz here early. And he certainly will take a close look at that eye. There's another left hand right on the eye. That's a serious cut. This is as sharp as right. I've ever I'm seen right. Golden Johnson in a fight. And, and Diaz started the second round. Very sharp himself. And yeah, Johnson hurt and backing up. There's another Let hit. Let him go. Let's go. Chin that time. Golden coming off a draw against Larry Mosley, a 12-round draw, which they and they fought back in May. And All he right, laid hook. off a couple I'll of years himself. Let's go. He said he was kind of invigorated when he went and visited uh, James Watch your Lehigh. heads. Watch your heads. All right. Let's go. Let's go. You know, even with this cut, it's an interesting round to score because both men have had their moments. Johnson now just beat high on Diaz, and Diaz ends the round with a sharp right hand. But now we've got to see about the cut. It's a bad cut. I want to go body a little bit, okay? Here you go. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Here you go. Hey, nice and smooth. Hey, get it, take it. Give me a nice deep breath. Nice deep breath. What's your vaseline? What's your vaseline? Okay, Gordon, give me a nice deep breath, baby. Nice deep breath. Okay, hey, I want a little bit of body shots. He's tired, bro. He's tired. Give me some body shots, okay? Give me some deep breath. You can't do that, sir. All right. All right. Okay, now look. Use your jab. Pick your shots, okay? And move your head. You're not moving your head. Now let's take a look at the, what was some very hectic action in round two. I told you that left hook was really working well from Golden Johnson, and you saw it there. That is a scorching left hook that he's been throwing and landing with rapidity throughout the uh, second round. Second and you're going to really see it now here in the Xmo 
impact of that left hook from Golden Johnson. He landed several of them. And even with that, I gave Diaz that round. Did you? I went the other way with the Golden Johnson. Good fight, though. The action oh. was scorches. Each man got there. Right hand from Diaz, left hand from Johnson. Diaz going to have to keep that right hand up defensively because that left hook is getting there. Yeah, it sure is. So far, that eye has not opened again. Oscar was very confident. He's coming off a career best win as a pro. His last fight in June, a 12 round decision against a good prospect, Chris Smith. You know, I think he got caught a little bit by surprise in that first round, Barry, by Golden. Uh, surprising aggressiveness and sharpness in round number one. And he stayed sharp in the second round, too, but I thought Diaz got out of the blocks in the second round so quickly and then finished the round reasonably well, too. That was a great round in that second round. And you could make a case either way. There's a right hand from Johnson. Johnson continues to be very sharp. At the age of 32, uh, Golden retains some hand speed. Fair punch combination from Johnson. And again, the bleeding starts. Diaz is going to have to fight through the pain and the blood and the fog and, and uh, get Golden Johnson to engage him in exchanges. But Golden right now is fast and fresh and he's actually coming out with the better of the exchanges. Diaz displaying a pretty good jab himself. First fight for Oscar Diaz back in San Antonio in four years. Really wanted to make an impression. He admitted that after he lost that fight to Eva Elder, he kind of lost his way a little bit in terms of training, lost his focus. And he went to work with Lou Duva back east and uh, said he's starting to get Mind better right, fights. He right, feels like go. he's Watch a better your fighter. Your head. And is making what he hoped would be a triumphant return. There's another headbutt. And there's a good right hand. And a good left hand from Johnson. Diaz has no defense against that left hook. He's just not reacting to it. And he comes up at the top of the right hand. And then Diaz ducks right into a right hand from Johnson. Break, my break. Let's go, let's go. Stand back. Hi. Big round for Johnson. Hey, look, man, you still not using, you started out using your jab now. Hey, give me a nice deep breath and relax, okay? Give me a Vaseline. Nice deep breath and relax. You are doing it. Golden Johnson, very sharp, landing the left hooks. That one actually staggered Oscar Diaz earlier in the round. Later on in the round, uh, he was still mixing it up. He landed a couple of rights, but again, the most effective punch for him in this Sir? fight has been the left hook, which is turning look, over with Use speed. your jab, move your head. Don't pull straight back. Side to side, not straight back. Hey, side to side, not straight back. You got me? Working, man. That's all we're going to do. We're ready to go. We're ready to go 12 rounds. You know that. Take a nice deep breath. Okay, a bit. Nice deep breath. Relax. Hey, give me some body shots. Okay. Hook to the body, hook to the head. But keep your hands up, OK? Well, a long way to go for this man with that cut over the right eye. I'm wondering if Golden Johnson can keep this up for 12 rounds. I don't know. I mean, he's been extremely sharp. Right now, let's go to uh, the champ, Sean O'Grady, who's with Lou Duva. Yeah. Papa Lou Duva. Papa Lou, what do you see? It's, it's a tough fight. We know yeah. it's a tough fight. Unfortunately, he got cut. He hurt this guy a couple times, you know? Yeah. But he got cut, then what are you going to do? What heart that Oscar Diaz is showing oh, right now? What are, you, what are you telling him between rounds? We're telling him to snap that jab and go to his wife's body. Yeah, maybe move his head a little That's bit. That's right, and he, move him. Move that head. Move that head. He seems to be susceptible to the left hook of Golden Johnson. Is that a problem? No, nah, I don't think so. He'll, he'll start getting that up because we're going to go to the body with this guy. And then, see, then things are right. Just like this, then, just then. Oh, yeah, well, the body and then the head. 
You know what? Nobody knows better than Lou Duva. You control the power of your opponent's punches by body shots, guys. Not happening right now, though. And uh, for that matter, it's not happening for Johnson either. Uh, James Leha and Johnson's corner said go to the body, go to the body. I haven't seen much. Oscar's Wait, looking Aubrey, to, uh, let's go, let's to cut go. Step back. the ring off on Johnson in this round. He's coming forward, but uh, that eye is beginning to get very messy. There, there should, if there isn't, be a sense of urgency in Oscar Diaz right now. I think he's fighting better in this round. That slipped a couple of punches through the gloves of Johnson that time. There's Johnson with the right hand. There's the left hand from Johnson. And again, it's unbelievable. He throws that punch from about the chest. Yeah, and he just turns it right over. Right, right go. over the uh, right arm of Oscar Diaz. And it lands more than half the time, it seems like. Now, Oscar has the power and the ability to turn things around. But he's going to have to start getting some respect from Golden Johnson. He just gets head to head with him, but nobody really does much. And there's Johnson with the right hand again. I think he's starting to get some things done, Diaz. Just, it's a subtle, slight bit of difference in this round and a little bit of improvement from Diaz. Well, there's a long way to go. The cut, of course, is a factor, and, and probably a big factor, but it's a 12-round fight, remember, so. And that second round was very close. I actually, as I mentioned, I gave it to Diaz. Time! Better round, you're right. And back in their dressing rooms and uh, getting closer to uh, their moment in Sonny Vander Holyfield. Fresno no, Kendo let's look, uh, at, let's look at the cut. has been at it for nine and a half years, but that's 13 and a half years less than the guy Give me who time. Left. Time Evander on the Holyfield. wrist. Time on the wrist. You know, Evander is such a beloved figure, and I think that figures into a lot of people saying, stop fighting Evander, because we don't want to see you get hurt. I think a lot of that is set out of affection for him and emotion for him. He's given right. so much to the sport. Actually, well, I, I, I do think if he loses with the, tonight, with the right he hand. step back. That's easy for me to say. And of course, I join oh, the of many, many, many people, many people hey, who, look. whose Two opinions three I respect. Jabs, right? Rafael Ooh. being one, he's a guy that I really do respect his opinion on what he has to say and what he said about uh, feel. Evander Holyfield is I that he's becoming a side show. There you go, baby. There you go. Already. Pick it up. Pick up the pick up the pace. Pick up the pace, okay? Let's go. Here we 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 go. You got Tommy Brooks and Lou Do Duva over there in the corner Time of Oscar corner Diaz. James you got Jesse right James up. Leha. And coming up, we've got uh, uh, Freddie Roach and uh, right I tell you, it's, and uh, Ronnie Shields. Great, great trainers. I love to see them working, too. Well, that's right. Round five. And I thought one thing Diaz did in that last round, Barry, was start snapping his jab, keeping it in long range, using the jab, and it was kind of opening things up a little bit for him. He's brought a right hand behind the jab there. Your kind of left hand. Right, my Brady break. Johnson. Watch your head. My break. Nope. Sean O'Grady right, right now right. in go, the go, corner go of Golden Johnson with Jesse James Leha. Sean? Thanks, Barry. Uh, Jesse James Leha. Rich Morata was even saying it. I, I uh, also think the same, but I've never seen Golden Johnson look so good. Well, he's been, we've been what are you telling him? We've been training hard. We just have him to relax in there. You know, he's busting him up with the jab and the hook. And just, you know, we just have him to relax in and just do everything we've been training for in the gym. I think they're going to want to stop the fight because his eyes busted up. He's taking a lot of punishment. I don't know, Jesse. He's also, Golden's getting tagged here, too. Yeah, he is. He's getting hit. But, you know, 
Golden's not, he's not taking the worst end of it, man. Go, Oscar's taking a beating right now. We just got to let go, Golden re relax and keep doing what he's doing right now. Oh, he's been down this road many times. And exactly. so have you. So Jesse James Leha, he knows what he's doing. Becoming a good trainer. How about that, guys? Yeah, no question what? about it. Johnson slipped a right hand in there. That was a very good right hand while you guys were talking. You know, I just want to mention the last time when we were here and Jesse James Leha fought Azuma Nelson on a pay-per-view show that we did. Our partner that night along with you and me and Sean was the great Mills Lane. Uh, yeah, that's right. Right. And I want to send out our best to Mills Lane in Reno, Nevada tonight, still recovering from a stroke that he suffered a couple of years ago. Great, great part of boxing. One of the greats. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Oscar Diaz just keeps coming here. He's brave, but he's still got a pretty fresh Golden Johnson. If he does some work, you know, I'm, I'm really anxious to see the second half of this fight. I hope the fight isn't stopped on cuts because I want to see what kind of pace Golden Johnson can maintain in the second half of this fight. He's 32 years old. And there is more grabbing going on in this round than there has been. I'm not saying it's all Johnson, but that was experience there. Did you see those uppercuts on the inside from Golden Johnson? That was great work from a veteran. Let him go, Golden. Leha finishing it with a bit of a flourish. Not a bad finish to that round by Diaz. I'm not sure that it was enough. Right now, uh, let's get you to the man about everywhere, John Sally, who's out in the house somewhere. Sal? Hey, what's up? I'm out here with two of the greatest NBA players in the world, Tim Hardaway, but he used to be Robert Ory, but he's now Will Smith. Can you believe you got Will Smith in the? What is about your new movie, Will Smith? Well, you know, I'm just out trying to do my thing and get paid. <laughs> Hey, Tim, you came on the show and gave Holyfield one of these watches. Right. And one of the things I told you is I wanted a watch. Where's right. my watch? Uh, it's coming. It's in the mail. Oh, yeah, it's a in the mail. A Banneker watch is in the mail. A Banneker watch. Oh. Right. Or oh, I can get up and run faster than you got bad knees. No, I don't. You think so. Okay. <laughs> Robert, are you still playing? Yeah, I'm still playing. Are you playing in San Antonio? Yes, I'm playing with the San Antonio Spurs. Is this a good place to play? It's a great place to play. It's the best place to play. You know, I had a record going. The only thing I could say, and you went up and broke it. I really appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm always trying to break records. Back to the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sal. Well, well, that was that one was of the great classic. playoff players, I'll tell you that, Robert Ory. And the master of the crossover. You know, I've got Golden Johnson well ahead in this fight, as you see from my scorecard there, Barry, but I don't think that Diaz is out of this fight. And I think because there's going to be the question mark about Johnson's ability to go the real 12 strong rounds, even though in his last fight he went 12 strong with Larry Mosley. But Diaz is putting pressure on him, and he's making Golden Johnson work. He finished that last round pretty well. I thought Johnson still won the round, but, but Diaz finished the round pretty well. Yeah, and I, I think by no means is Golden Johnson out of the woods here. He has backpedaling here in this round. Or rather, Johnson, I beg your pardon, and Diaz caught him there. Great, not great. Let's go, Pete. Let's go, let's go. And he continues on his bicycle here. Well, you see fighters take a round off every now and then, and that could be what Johnson is doing. Well, he's showing more lateral movement, but to me, that's a lot of wasted energy he's utilizing in there. Maybe he feels D is coming on. But he's not getting much business done himself in this round. Great! My great! Let's go! Diaz, or rather, uh, Johnson continues on his bike, and Diaz slowed him down at least with a right hand. I think there's plenty of drama left in this fight. Yeah, I agree with you. A little swelling under the eye now of Diaz. Diaz is getting confident. Look at the look on his face. All of a sudden, he's energized. Barry. He may think that his man is getting a little tired, and that's why he's up on his bike here. 
Johnson, too. Johnson breathing through his mouth. That is sometimes a sign of a tired fighter. When you face right hand again, when you face constant pressure like Diaz is putting on Johnson, it can be very fatiguing. Even if that you're making that man miss a lot. You have him constantly in your face. It's a very intense experience. You see Evander Holyfield in the corner of your screen. That, that's exactly something that Evander was talking about this afternoon we chatted with him. He was talking about the fact that you expend as much energy not throwing punches as you do throwing punches if you're just moving around the ring as Johnson did there. You have it, you're finding this fight now, Gordon. Okay? Hey, you're fighting this fight now. You, you let him dictate the pace. You keep coming in. You're not, uh, let's take that as an off round, okay? But you cannot keep going back. That's what he wants. That's the way he sets up. That's not how we started the fight, okay? That's not how we started the fight, Golden. We started the fight being smooth, using our jab, hook into the body, hook into the head, okay? That's how we started. Let's take a look at that uh, Exmo once again, and you can see the impact on the punches that Golden Johnson, even though I thought it was a nice combination there by Golden, Right and then the left, and Diaz just reckless defensively. Look at his hand, arms just completely askew. He's off balance. His right foot is out in front of his left. But I gave that round. I fight. I think he's coming on. I did too. As a matter of fact, I have the fight even. I gave. I gave another round to Oscar Diaz that I know you gave to Johnson. I saw just a new look on the face of Oscar Diaz in that last round. Now, Jesse James Leia said, you can't do what you did in that last round. You got to go back to what worked for you early. Now let's see if Golden Johnson can respond. He has found something in that last round. I think he was setting it up too by double and tripling up on his jabs. Johnson coming forward in this round now, not backing up and circling. Just to let you know, there's a little bit of a commotion right, over in the corner right. of uh, Oscar Diaz with Lou Duva in a bit of a shouting match with some people over there, might be with the commissioners. Right. Let's go, let's go. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Now, Lou Duva, nothing if not feisty. Sean Grady is there. Sean, what's going on? You saw a change of strategy from Golden Johnson in that last round. What he's doing is he's just trying to reset. I was talking to James Leha about that. He said all he's trying to do is just trying to reset and then come back in. He said he was trying to take a breather in that round. He deserved one, guys. Did you see what happened with Lou Duva in the corner? No, I did not. I think the commission might have been uh, upset with Lou uh, bellowing instructions to uh, his fighter from the corner. Johnson right back on top of Diaz now. Yeah, an effective round again. Yeah, and, and this round he's doing it with right hands. He's landed a couple of very strong rights. And he's backing Diaz up into Diaz's own corner. He's just trying to rough Diaz up, which in this case is not a bad strategy. There's an uppercut slipped in. Diaz getting a little piece of Johnson every now and then also, though. Work, guys, come work. There's Lou Duva. Do it again, come on. Double trouble. Double trouble, Oscar. Double off. Johnson's working this round. Double off. Two hands, two hands, two hands, two hands, two hands. What's it up? What's it up? I think, I think Diaz ought to use that jab more. I think it's, it's working well for him. Yeah, it's keeping Johnson off of him when he does use it. Right, come in again, get our body, get our body. Okay, let's just get our body more. One more time. That was a really fine body shot by Oscar Diaz. That kind of bent Golden Johnson over. He's, he's still bent. I don't know if that's from that shot or not, but. Oh, a big left hand, that staggered Johnson. And now Diaz jumping on it. Ten seconds left in the round. Diaz trying to get him out of there. At the bell. Golden Johnson had that round one until the last 10, 15 seconds. 
Come on, give me that. I think the two body shots at first hurt him, Barry, and then he got caught with the one to the head that really sent him staggering.